And now, your first alert five weather. Clear skies and calm here on the north end of the city out at the airport. The wind is a little breezy out of the southeast, but you can see from that live shot downtown, no wind at all. Pretty comfortable temperature wise. Live look from downtown Pueblo. Skies are blue and it's mild out there. 59 is the current temperature. Light breeze out of the southeast at the airport. It's calm across most parts of the city. Here's what's going to happen around here for your Saturday. Lots of sunshine if you're out early tomorrow morning. 9 a.m. temperatures into the 30s and 40s. By late morning, it's going to be pretty comfortable if you've got outdoors, uh, outdoor activities planned. By early afternoon, this is 2 p.m., we're into the 50s with lots of sunshine. We'll stay mostly clear all the way until sunset tomorrow. Tomorrow evening. Here's our big weather story. Here's what's going to happen around here on Sunday. I wanted to give you the first alert on this. Strong cold front's going to blast through here Sunday afternoon. You'll know when that front hits your neighborhood, winds will switch to the north, getting gusty 25 to 35 mile per hour gust. Now ahead of the front, nice and mild, but once that front hits your neighborhood, it is going to get a lot colder. Temperatures going to fall real quickly during the afternoon hours. We could lose 20 to 30 degrees within just a couple hours during the afternoon on Sunday. Now tracking two different systems here over the next seven days. First one on Tuesday promises some good snow for the northern central into the San Juan Mountains. Maybe a couple of stray sprinkles late in the day around here. Now by next Friday, and I know it's a long way off, but another storm system on the weather maps. I think by Friday afternoon, good chance of seeing some snow across the higher elevations. This model wants to bring in some snow by late Friday night into next Saturday morning. Seven, eight days away. That's a long way when you're forecasting weather here in eastern Colorado, but certainly as always wanted to give you the first alert on the possible possibilities anyway. Here's what's going on out there right now. We've got 50s and 60s across the News 5 viewing area. Clear skies, calm winds overnight tonight. It's going to be cold, but these numbers actually warmer than average. Only 30 for that low tonight in Colorado Springs. Right here tomorrow afternoon highs real close to what we had out there today. Upper 50s to around 60 in southeastern Colorado. A little breezy from time to time, 10 to possibly 15 miles per hour. Here's that super seven day forecast for Colorado Springs. Sunday is really the day we're focusing on, so we want to Break it out for you if you've got outdoor plans. That wind is really going to fire up with that frontal passage. Strongest wind between 1 and 3 p.m. starting to settle down by sunset. Now, as far as temperatures go on Sunday, ahead of the front, nice and mild. We'll have 60 degrees for our high, and then they really fall off. You can see a big drop between 1 and 5 p.m. with that front rolling through. A lot colder on Monday, 40 degrees with wind, making it feel even colder than that. With that weak energy on Tuesday, we could see a passing shower or a flurry. It won't be much. Most of the snow is going to be up over the higher elevations. And then when that next storm rolls in by Friday, snow possible once again. You can see the pattern starting to change finally across the area. Pueblo, a comfortable weekend. Look out for that wind Sunday. Windy again on Monday. Much cooler air, 20 degrees cooler on Monday. Then maybe, just maybe, a few showers by next Friday. Keep your fingers crossed. Canyon City, you're going to be warm this weekend. Temperatures awfully mild. Then uh, the real uh, December shows up by Monday. Maybe a Stray isolated shower on Tuesday seems like a long shot at this point and snow possible by next Friday for Woodland Park. You're going to have a dry weekend, windy and colder on Monday. A few snow showers Tuesday, just a one on the storm impact scale. More potential with that next system coming in on Friday. Guys.